And it's been another successful year for your cooperative, and tonight I'd like to highlight just a few of the accomplishments we've had in the past few months. Our recent American Customer Satisfaction Index score, or ACSI score, came in a full eight points higher than the average Touchstone Energy Cooperative. We once again scored very high in the two criteria that matter most to you, which are rates and reliability. 96% of our members responded that rates and reliability were the most important aspects of the service they received from Weber River. I'm proud to report that once again, in 2017, our Service Availability Index, which is a measure of the percentage of time that the service was available to you, was again over 99.9%. So it's a rate that we're very proud of. being important to you. So speaking of, uh, we knew going into 2018 that we were facing a nearly 2.5% rate increase from our power supplier. In addition to our energy rates increasing, we also received a 10% increase in demand charges. So these two increases resulted in our power cost increasing over $5 million. So we told you in the February edition of our newsletter, The Current Times, and I quote what we said in that newsletter, that we would track revenues and expenses very closely to make sure the budgets are on target and make changes only if necessary. We also said that if revenue projections fall short due to weather or economic conditions, the board will consider a rate increase later in the year. Tonight, I am very pleased to tell you that the revenue projections, as of this time, are ahead of budget, and despite our increase in the cost of power, your cooperative will not have a rate increase in 2018. <laughs> so this means that Quaker River has had only one rate increase in the past nine years, even as the average electric rates across the country have risen over 24% during that time. And good news, as of now, and I will qualify it with as of now, but as of now, we are very optimistic about rates remaining stable in 2019 as well. We're very proud of being able to keep your rates low, but that doesn't happen by accident. We continue to look for ways to control costs. In a national benchmark study that was just released last month, our controllable expenses for consumer, which are all of our expenses other than the power costs that I just mentioned, showed our best ranking ever. Out of 813 electric co-ops, we rank in the top 7% in the nation and number one in the state of Missouri in controlling our expenses. We continue to look for ways to add technologies and efficiencies to control costs while improving our service to you and more. One example of this is the recent completion of the installation of our advanced metering infrastructure metering system. By upgrading our metering technology to a single platform, from an aging hybrid system of three different metering systems that we had, we are saving more than $19,000 a month or $230,000 a year. In addition to the cost savings, outage data is available, which allows us, our operations personnel, to diagnose problems more quickly getting your power restored even faster in the event of an outage. An important part of being a cooperative member is that you are not just a customer, but you are a member consumer. And instead of profits going to shareholders, as a member consumer, you are entitled to share in the profits or margins, as we call them, the cooperative generates through capital credits. We remain very committed to returning these margins to you while also keeping your cooperative financially strong. In 2018, just a few weeks ago, we retired nearly $7 million back to you, the members. This is an all-time record retirement of $7 million. Mm -hmm. This $7 million brings our total given back in capital credits to over $87 million since 1976. We're already the largest electric cooperative in the state of Missouri, and in January we crossed over the 65,000 consumers mark and we'll add over 1,300 meters again this year. Our continued growth now has us in the top 8% of the largest electric cooperatives in the nation. We see this growth continuing 
and we view it as very positive. We have an impressive history at Quiver River. Now in our 77th year of existence, we have a lot to be proud of, and many thanks go to those who have served before us. However, past successes do not guarantee future successes. Just as success of the past took hard work, planning, and perseverance to be successful in the future, we must do the same. We can celebrate the positive things of the past, like we talked about tonight, but we can't rest and rely on them to guide our future. The electric industry is changing faster than ever before. Solar energy costs are becoming more affordable. Electric vehicles are starting to make an impact and have the potential to transform the transportation industry. Appliances and other equipment are becoming more and more efficient. Terms such as smart grid, the Internet of Things, distributed energy resources, smart appliances, and energy storage are becoming a reality. Concern for the environment is also a priority. With the world now fully in a digital age, the need for reliable electricity has never been greater. The challenge becomes dealing with all of these changes while keeping your costs as low as possible. As we look to the future, it's imperative that we plan and have a vision for what that future will look like. As I mentioned in my annual report, in the next few months, the Quiver River Board of Directors and Management Team will begin a strategic planning process. This process will entail looking at how we can evolve and continue to be a leader in the electric cooperative industry. We'll examine how we do things, what things need to change, what things need to be added. We'll look at everything from how we do annual meetings to additional rate options, from our facilities to technology, from our organizational structure to the services we offer. Everything will be reviewed to determine how we can serve you, the member, better and give you the options that you need. Things are changing faster today than ever before. To give up with today's fast pace of change as cooperative, we must be bold, we must have a vision for the future, and we must be willing to lead. Our philosophy shouldn't be to do something because everybody else is doing it, or to not do something because no one else is doing it. Our philosophy should be to do what's right for Quiver River Electric Cooperative and its members. This is the philosophy that we will carry forward. So exciting things are happening at your cooperative and the future is very bright. Let's look forward to the opportunities that lie ahead. Thank you very much again for being here. Thank you for, for being Quiver River Electric members and God bless.